Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yahuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. I am established. I am anchored in this witness. The rock. I do this because of Yahuwah and Yahushua. I do this because Yahuwah has established me in Yahushua to be a witness, to be that man that he has declared that prophet to cry loud and spare not, to lift up your voice like a trump. called to declare to Yahuda that you must be born again. You must receive the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. We're listening to none other than Hezekiah and Free Brew. Listen, song is entitled My Rock. I don't want to write to this music. Listen, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I give you praise first, first and foremost for the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, for establishing me as your son in this witness, making me a part of the family, the kingdom, through faith in Yahushua's witness, receiving the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, I give you praise, I give you praise. Yahuwah, I declare in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach by this witness that you have put in me that I need you to take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Speak through me, Yahuwah. Allow your word to be a lamp and a light to those that hear and receive this witness that are participants in the in the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah, I pray that I would not cause anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up lame. Yahuwah, you are my rock and my Yeshua. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I thank you for sending your namesake, Yahushua HaMashiach, and establishing me now as your namesake, your heritage. Yahuwah, I give you praise. You are my rock. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray. Listen, the song is entitled My Rock, and it is Hezekiah and Free Brew. Listen, I don't write to this music. You already know that. But I got to say that. <laughs> I don't want no cop. But you know what? I love I love the word of Yahuwah. I love the witness of Yahushua. And I love doing what Yahuwah called me to do. And you know, we about to be about it. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I would encourage you in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach these last four to five messages that Yahuwah has brought forth in this YouTube, you, I implore you to listen to them. Listen. I'm telling you, they're Ruako. I sit back and I listen and I say, Yahuwah, listen, it's anointed, it's Ruako. I ain't tooting my own torn horn, I'm tooting his own. <laughs> this is the Ruako I can in me, I don't take no credit. I don't want no credit. This is the most high. But listen, you, you you should take the time to listen. And it's entirety. You know, I, some people, you know, you know, you listen to something and you try to skim through and scan through it. But, you know, you, 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 you ain't going to get the full benefits of it by doing that. 
So listen, spend some time listening to him because you who is you who is doing you who is you who is you who is revealing. He's. He's moving. He's speaking. And I believe every time I deliver word, Yahuwah has a word for you. Whoever's under the sound of my voice, whoever's hearing this witness, this YouTube, this word is for you. And again, you know, again, you know, you know, some people feel like, well, I know what he's going to say. Yeah, well, you know what he's going to say, but listen, you should listen. <laughs> I'm that prophet that's saying the same thing. Because <laughs> you told me. He told me to tell you, you must receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach in order to be established in this kingdom. You must be born again of the water and of the Ruach Kadesh. And that's just not a term. That's 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 a, a physical reality that must occur. Can't skirt this. Can't get around high Mashiach's witness. <laughs> Can't. You can't get around the water being sprinkled. You can't get around with, with receiving Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. You got to come the way that he has established. And there is no other name given unto men whereby they must receive Yeshua. At the namesake of Yahuwah. Every knee is going to bow. Yehusha Hamashiach and every tongue is going to swear. And this is the man of y'all, woman of y'all. Hear the word of you. We are in Corinthians. I believe it's the eighth chapter. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's the eighth chapter. Right? And... The 8th chapter of Corinthians, Paul is admonishing the Corinthians to demonstrate their generosity, right? Because again, you know, Shaul is is uh, intending on going to Jerusalem, right? With a gift, right? An offering. Because there was a need. There was a need in Jerusalem. And there was persecution in Jerusalem. There was a real need in Jerusalem. So Shaul is getting into the, the giving aspect. And you know, in, in, in this witness, you have to understand that Yahuwah purposes giving for the purpose of relieving burdens and destroying yokes. The gift is designed financially to relieve a burden. Right? His purpose is to relieve a burden. Right? A financial gift, a, 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 a a food gift, a cold gift, whatever the gift is, it's designed to remove a burden. It's always been intended to remove a burden and destroy the yoke. And, and when you give to Yahuwah out of your need, right, Yahuwah rewards you because Yahuwah understands the necessity in giving, right? Because you give to remove a burden and to destroy a yoke. And Yahuwah does not have a burden, nor does he have a yoke, but he uses your offering, right? He uses your giving to, to, to release you into a place of receiving, right? Because the Bible says, given shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, running over shall man given to your bosom, right? Right, right. They give unto you because you have established a pattern of giving, right? You you have sacrificed, right? But the idea is, is that it is a sacrifice that is provided, right, for the removing of a burden, right? There's a need. And the church has a responsibility to, to meet that need, you know, not like, now if, now, now, now if you look at what you see in Christian, though, 
the only people that really benefit from this whole idea of giving and offerings, right, is the fat cat behind the pulpit. Your multi-color wearing, multi-color suit wearing, TD fakes, <laughs> and your and your Creflo drive the Bentley and the Rolls Royce and have two playing style. <laughs> now, if they were they were they were true to the ministry of Yahoo, right? They would be servicing the needs and would not need a multi-million dollar house, right? right? They wouldn't need a, a, a multi, multi-airplanes, like, you like, you know, kind of your airport airplane having, <laughs> you know. You know, and he's going to tell you it's it's the release of your faith to give. <laughs> you giving to release your faith when in reality, giving is for the removal of a burden and the destroying of a yoke. We can go on and on and on with that. You know, your old steams, Ingrid Stewart's, Cole had a, had a, had a, a, a plumber working in the bathroom and, and had to get to a pipe in the wall and broke the wall and found money and checks <laughs> over like $600,000. Dang, Stuart, listen, they didn't even, I bet they didn't realize it was gone. Wicked, man, right? But that's your money that you're supposed to be using to remove a burden and destroy a yoke. That's right. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's for a purpose. Yahushua said you have the poor with you always. You have opportunity to give to them. The whole idea of, 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 of leaving um, some behind from your harvest that the poor may glean from. You have and you provide to remove a burden, right? Because that's what this is about, right? It's about removing a burden, destroying a yoke. Shaul says in the eighth chapter of the second uh, uh, um, Corinthians, beginning at the first verse, he says, Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of Elul bestowed on the Assemblies in Macedonia. Look, the grace that has been stowed upon the assemblies in Macedonia. Right? Right. Now listen. Shaul is talking about offering. Right? He's talking about offering. He's talking about people who are giving of necessity. And some of them out of their own necessity, right? He says, listen, moreover, brother, we do you to wit to know of the grace of Alua bestowed upon the assemblies of Macedonia. See, now the assemblies of Macedonia Yahuwah has bore them witness. He has seen their sacrifice. Right? Now here's, there's something that the churches, the assemblies in Macedonia, right? By Yahuwah's grace has done something. Right? Let's go. He says, how that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberty. So you're talking about some poor people, right? Who loved the witness of Yahushua, Yahushua, have faith in Yahushua, Mashiach, 
and was poor and gave. They were deep in poverty. They weren't just poor. They was deep in poverty. Right? He says how that in a great trial of affliction, right? There was a great trial of affliction. Let's look at that word affliction, right? That Charles Greek word. G, 2347. Philipsis. 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 It's oppressing, oppressing together, a pressure, a, a affliction, tribulation. Right, so the church, the assemblies in Macedonia were under great pressure. They were in heavy affliction and trouble, right? But yet, right, being deep in poverty, right? In affliction, they were in joy. Because they had to witness. <laughs> they had the witness of Yahushua of Mashiach. They had the joy of Yahuwah that was their strength in their trials, pressing in their squeezing in their tribulation. They were yet rejoicing. And not only were they rejoicing, they demonstrated. He said, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty. Right? They, but they abounded. They were beyond. Until the riches of their, their, their liberty. They went beyond because they weren't bound by money, right? Even though they didn't have much, right? They weren't bound by that. They were in liberty. <laughs> they were free. <laughs> Listen, the joy of Yahuwah was their strength. They had received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. They recognized that they had all things in common. There was nobody that was going to suffer. We all are in poverty, but we're going to dig deep. <laughs> we're going to dig deep because we have joy in you. Right? Now listen, now listen, now listen. You shouldn't be given to your pastor's anniversary. <laughs> Take it up, offerings for your pastor's anniversary. First ladies, anniversary. Pagan. You shouldn't be saving your money to buy a pasta, a new Lexus. <laughs> pasta wants a bill. Your giving is of necessity. It's to remove a burden and destroy yoke. Pastor don't need a Bentley to remove a burden and destroy <laughs> Pastor doesn't need a Cessna <laughs> to destroy a burden or a yoke. And they love poor folk. They love poor folk. They love people who need because 
people who need, they can convince to give out of their need. <laughs> See, because rich man, he just going to give you what he want to give you. <laughs> but a poor man, you can convince him to give out of his need. He going to give you everything he got and ain't going to pay his bills, ain't going to keep his lights on, he, but he going to bring it in to the, to the house, to the stow house. Listen, wicked, wicked, wicked leaders. See, that's not what Shaul's talking about. Shaul is talking about the poor who, because they loved Yahushua Hamashiach, and they believed in the witness, and they were moving by the Ruach HaKadosh, and they were full of joy, having had their burdens removed and their yokes destroyed, and yet they still got poverty, deep poverty. He ain't gonna stay going, they, they going to express richly, right? Because they free. <laughs> See, because they understand that if Shaul had a necessity in Jerusalem to have to Go and to bring what was necessary so that the people in Jerusalem could have their burdens removed and yokes destroyed. And that's what they was going to do. <clears throat> you know, Shaul says for to power to their anointing. To the power, right? I bear record, yea, and beyond their power or for their ability to be able to do. I'm a witness. <laughs> I bear them record. See, I know they were deep in poverty. No, they were deep in poverty. No, they were deep in poverty. But I'm bearing record of them because of their ability, their desire, and their power and beyond. willing of themselves to give whatever. Now listen, 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 now listen. And I want to bring this up too because, you know, you know, you got people on Facebook, right? I mean, it's funny because, you know, you got people that want me to add them as a friend, right? But, you know, I don't always add them as a friend, but, you know, they're going to pop up on my messenger, you know, you know talk about Shalom or Shalom. Aki, how you and your family doing? Right? I'm like, uh, who is this? Right? You know, I'm going to be nice, responding, cordial. Oh, shalom, brother. My family is fine. May Yahuwah bless you and your house. Right? They get a return message. Well, Aki, you know. I'm in a straight right now and I could use some financial help. <laughs> and and the Lord, to, uh, Yahuwah told me that I needed to go to the man of Yahuwah. <laughs> uh, is that a fat guy? Yeah, yeah. What you need it for? Well, you know, I got, you know, I got my family that I got to feed and, yeah, where they at? You know, yeah, well, I tell you what, Aki, why don't you, why don't you uh, load up you and the family on this messenger and let me see them and, and let me see what's going on, you know, and, and uh, you know, maybe I can work something, maybe we can work something out for where we can get some, some help and assistance 
you know, for you. Wait, where you? Wait, 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 let me see what you got. What you working with, Oc? You know, I mean, I don't really want to put them. Listen, I, when you when you prepare to do that, now, then you know, let me know. And I'm not gonna just give you money. I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with a plan. Can't hear nothing else from me. My aqua stuff. <laughs> he did something similar. He did. <laughs> Your brother was in Africa. You know, talking about, you know, he had all of these orphan kids that he was, you know, serving, you know. I was like, yeah. He said, well, listen. He said, well, you know, send me some money. He said, well, you know, like he said, he broke him off a little something, something, you know. And the guy was calling him every day, texting him every day, you know, just texting one more, texting him, right? Broke him off. So, yeah, I, I told him finally, he said, listen, bro, uh, you know, I want to do a work with you. You know, maybe we can... We can uh, build a bridge between us and you, you know. Um, why don't you uh, uh, go ahead and get on Messenger and, and show me the orphanage and show me the kids and, you know, uh, and show me uh, uh, what we're working with. <laughs> Needless to say, he didn't call him no more. He didn't send him no messages, no. Right, and Aki said, "Well, because you know, it, you know, I, I, I blessed you the first time, but you know, you, you just can't. Um, um, you who's you who's gonna judge you if you, you know, you doing this wrongly, you know? But listen, we want to help you. <laughs> we want to build a bridge, you know, my Aki boy. You know, he constantly thinking about what we can do, right? Build a bridge, continent." Got all these young brothers with all of these kids, orphanages, you know. So, you know, I have to know you, right? I have to know you in order to establish a, 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 a giving cycle with you. I have to know you Ruachali. I have to know by the Ruach HaKadosh that you have demonstrated what is necessary, right, for me to begin to give to you, right, because I'm giving to you to remove some burdens and some yokes. honest and upfront with me, you know, then no way, nada. Don't inbox me. It ain't gonna happen. I am a man of Yahuwah with the Ruach HaKadosh, right? And I, you don't want me to speak a word over you. <laughs> because, you know, I'm like, I'm like Ananias, I'm like, I'm like Peter with Ananias, and his wife, no, uh, was it Anani Ananias and Sapphira? His wife, yeah. Why, why you lied to the Ruach Hakadosh, saying that this money that you are getting is for orphanages? Be judged according to the word of your, for you lied against the Ruach Hakadosh. See, you don't you don't want me to go there, you know, because you know you will, will honor every word that comes forth in the ruach kadesh by the kids. Because I got the ruach kadesh, and I know I'm his prophet, and I know I can speak a word and have that word come to pass. I just know it. See, you know, when you understand this thing, you got to understand how to move because you know you ain't, you, you you gotta watch what you say because your your words are life. Right, they come with force they, because the ruach from your belly brings them with force. You know, you gotta understand this, but see, you know, giving. This show's talking about people give from the.
abundance of their hearts in joy because they recognize Shaul and the ministry, what he brought to them, how he has made them alive, quickened them, and, and, and brought them into this ministry, bringing Yahushua Mashiach and the revelation of the witness to them. What you need, Shaul, you need offerings for Jerusalem. Well, we gonna give it to you. We gonna go in, give you our very best, and we're not gonna hold back. They identified with the viable need because they believed it, and they bore witness in the Ruach Hakadosh, right? And Shaul, because they knew Shaul's motives. Were He says, praying us with much entreating that we would receive the gift, this offering, right? And the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. Got this gift that we know that it's going to go to the benefits of the saints who have need. Saints have got needs. I ain't talking about. I'm talking about taking care of people who have the ability to take care of themselves. Right? But you just don't want to get a job. You don't want to get that job. Right? I'm talking about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No. Come to me asking me for something. I'm like, look, man, why ain't you get a job? I handed my son that way. So I love my son. Love my son. Yeah, son. If you're there, love my son. If you don't get a job, you don't keep a job. I, 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 ain't, I, ain't, I ain't here giving you money all the time. Right? My money is, is, is you who's money. I'm just gonna throw it out to you just because you don't work or because you decide not to work. Right? I don't do that. You know, I ain't letting you borrow no money. See, because if I let you borrow money in the past and you have never paid me back, then why would I let you borrow money again? You know, you know, you know it's funny. You know, he's my son. I love him. My firstborn. Right? right? He's been, he been a knucklehead in different times, you know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know at the time, but I still love him. I love him. I love him. See, he got to understand that, you know, that money is 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 earned, right? And you cannot take that earning process lightly. Right? So if you don't want to earn money, then you don't eat. So you can't come to me and say, Oh, you know, I got I got a need, you know, uh, I keep well, you know. I, I lost my job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man, I lost my job today. Da, 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 da. Okay, you know what, Aki? We're going to put something together for you. Make sure you and your wife can have kids. But you know what? Stay on the block. Get, get, keep getting, looking for that work. You know, you got to work. You know, you know the, the books, if the man don't work, you don't eat. And you know, everybody has these situations at times, but you can never get comfortable with them. You gotta understand it. It's just a grind. You gotta move. You gotta do because you know what you have, right? So that you could take for take care of your family, but so that you could be a blessing and a need for somebody else. Who gives you the power to get wealth to establish his covenant, right? He gives you the power to get wealth in order for you to continue to establish his covenant. Right? What is his covenant? His covenant is. The things, the signs that follow, the things that bring us into this witness that establishes us and helping others in this covenant, right? You know, work, you don't eat, right? So, yeah, 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 you know, you, 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 you have to have, have purposeful giving, you know, purposeful giving. Man, I had, I had sisters show up on my, on my, on my page. You know, my in my in my my uh, uh messenger. 
Uh, hey, Ak, you know, listen, you know, I, 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 my kid, me and my kids need some food to eat. I'm like, huh? I mean, I don't. Who, who are you? Who, who are you, sister? I don't even know you. Oh well, you know, I'm such, 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 such. Yeah, so you know, I go to her page. I pull up her page. You know, I'm like okay. So and now I don't stay. So what you what you need is assistance. Well, you know, maybe I can I can move some assistance your way. Which what which what's, what's your situation looks like? What city are you in? What what county? What 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 what, are you, what you doing? Ghost. <laughs> See, cause I, I, you, that just ain't gonna work for me. That that just ain't gonna roll up on me. I'm I, I I'm not gonna do that. That's that's not what I'm going to do. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna do what you who it tells me to do. I'm going to be that witness. I am going to declare that basur. I am going to let you know by the Ruach HaKadosh what that looks like. Some Shaul's like these people, man. They were poor, but they rejoiced in the ability, to, the desire to give to the saints, right? He says, and... Not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to Adonai, Yahuwah, and unto us by the will of the Lord. They gave themselves they gave out of what they had. And Shaul was at first thinking a certain way about what he was receiving that maybe they weren't giving as they should. But, but Shaul soon understood Macedonia was giving out of their poverty. their necessity, right? So, he says, in so much that we desire Titus that as he hath begun, so he would also finish in you the same gift also. So now, we then received from these people in Macedonia, and they just did what they did out of the abundance of their hearts. They were poor. We would have liked to have received more, but they weren't able. Now, Titus is coming to you. <laughs> Corinthians. Right? He said, he's looking for you to finish with the same grace. Right? Uh, the desire to be a blessing to the saints because it's going to remove a burden and it's going to destroy yokes. Right? Right? He says, therefore, as ye abound in every faith. Right? And utterance and knowledge, right? Because you, because, because, because you, you abound in the ruach's moves. You, you are abounding in in ruach of wisdom and understanding, ruach counsel, ruach of might, ruach of knowledge and fear of you. Are you abounding in the the gifts of faith, the ruach akadesh of faith, right? Knowing this. And all diligence and your love to us, right? Because you're doing this, your love to us, right? That ye abound in this grace also. 
you abound in his grace also. You participate in the relief of the saints and with liberty. Right now, now again, this is this is a targeted offering specific to remove the burdens of the saints that were in Yeru, Judea, that Shaul was heading back to. Right? He received word, he had a knowledge of there being a need, and that if he could uh, 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 receive offerings to assist in the fellow brethren in Judea by this offering. Now, Shaul was like, listen, I need you to do what they did. Now, they was poor. But they gave all that they had. And, 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 and Titus is going to elaborate on that a little bit more when he comes. But the idea is, you need to recognize that these people in Macedonia went above and beyond because there's a need, right? He says, listen, 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 listen. He says, I speak not by commandment. This is not a commandment. This is not a Torah. You know, this is not a Torah. I'm not telling you that Thus saith the Yahuwah, you need to give X amount of dollars. This is not what I'm saying. This is not a Torah. <clears throat> this is not a Torah. This is not a Torah. He said, this is not by commandment. <laughs> Excuse me. This is not something Yahuwah said. I command the people to give this. This is not, this is not that. No. You know. Even though you have that all the time in Christian Christians. Right. But, 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 but in this witness, there's no command. Shaul was not given this by commandment. He says, I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others. Because these other, these Macedonians, you know, they gave. This Macedonians, man, they gave. They gave. These Macedonians, they, they delivered out of the abundance of what they had and they was deep in poverty. But they did it. Right? He said they did it. Right? I speak not by command, but by occasion of the forwardness of others. They have demonstrated it. They moved by action forward right they're giving he says of others and to prove the sincerity of your love so listen i know they love right and 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 and, 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 and i'm just letting you know that this is what they did out of their deep poverty because they loved this wit and they loved the saints. And they trusted the Ruach HaKadosh in me. And they recognized that if I asked for it, it was of necessity. And they delivered. They delivered. They delivered. They delivered. You know, I command my, my Ak Lorvins, right? Lorvins. After Haiti has suffered that flooding and that tornado, I think it was, hurricane, hurricane, not tornado, got busy and went into petitioning everybody in the Hebrew community and was able to take food, take things to Haiti, right? To the brother.
rich. It was no problem for me to get. <clears throat> because I recognized his Ruach. <laughs> and I knew there was a need. So there was a necessity of necessity to get. Right? He says, listen, he said, listen, he said, listen. You need to prove your sincerity and your love for them. He said, listen, for ye know the grace of our Adonai Yehusha Mashiach that through, that though he was rich, because Yehusha was rich, he became poor. He was rich for your sake. He became poor. He existed in the Shamaim and the purest of everything. He had all power. He reigned. He was without question wealthy, but he became poor. He took on sinful flesh. Right? He took on flesh. For you, sacrificed for you. He was willing to leave it all for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach. He was willing, he was willing, Yahushua Hamashiach was willing to leave it all for the forwarding, the forwarding of the kingdom of Yahuwah. What do you have that you are not willing to let go for the kingdom of you? <clears throat> he said, you should became poor that ye through poverty might be rich. You were poverty. You were impoverished. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter if you had money, if you had inheritance. You were poor until you came into this witness and received Yahushua Hamashiach as Adonai, you were poor. But with Yahushua, sacrifice, he's made you rich. See, in these people in Macedonia, these assemblies in Macedonia understood this. They understood the value of the witness and they understood that if there was a need, then they had an obligation to supply because it is Yahushua's witness and it is the saints. And if there is a burden to be removed and a yoke to be destroyed, then we do it. He said, listen, he says, and herein I give advice for this is expedient for you who have begun before not only to do, but also to be forward, to be forward a year ago. Right. You who had to do and you wanted to bring it to us a year ago, right? Right. He said, listen, now therefore perform the doing. You wanted to do it a year ago. It's a year later and I'm telling you, I still need it. Now do it. Right now, give that which you have. That the saints and, and you Judea may be, be blessed. That they may have their burden removed and their yokes destroyed. Right? Right? He says, now therefore perform the doing that as a readiness to will, because you had a readiness to will, you wanted to do it before, so perform also out of that which ye had. So do it. Whatever you had. As an offering, prepare it to give. You wanted to do it a year ago. I need you to do it now. 
give, right? He says, for if there be first a willing mind, if you're willing, it's accepted. According to that, a man have it. So if you have a willing, willing heart and a mind to give something, then give it. Give what you have, right? He said, give what you have. Not according to that, he have it not. Give what you have. Don't give what you don't have. Give what you have. Be gracious in reference to what you possess and what you can distribute and what you can give, what you can provide, right? You do that, right? According to that, he have it not. He says, for if there be first a willing mind, right, accepted, right? It's accepted. According to that, a man haveth. If you're willing in your mind and you have it, right, then give it. But not according to that, he haveth not. Not, don't, it ain't about not, you, you got to give what you have and be willing in your mind to do it. If you don't have it, Right? Give what you have. Right? But we don't expect you to give what you don't have. He says, for not that other men be eased and you be burdened. I'm not trying to tell you to give out of what you don't have. Right? So that somebody else can have and, and you still got, you now you got the need. That's, that's not the purpose of this. You don't give, and, and see, and listen, you know, that's why, it's how wicked and twisted it is in Christianity, they tell you to give out of your need. Shaul clearly says, for that other man be not eased, and you be burdened. He says, for if that, if there be a willing, a willing mind, it's accepted before you who will. It's accepted for us on your behalf, according to that a man has. I'm going to give you what you have. Give what you have. Not according to that which you don't have, right? For not that a, a other, another man be eased and you be burdened. You don't see how diabolical that thought that that idea is in, in Christianity. It has led to these fat cats, man. It has led to them having abundance and you having your lights cut off. Let them they driving Rolls Royces and you trying to catch a ride to the to the to the to the to the to the, to the church. You ain't got a car, or your car was broke now. But he told you to give so that Yahuwah can fix your car. Or to give, and Yahuwah will, ex in exchange, fix your car. But you ain't giving to Yahuwah. You're giving to him. You're not giving out of. Of, of 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 removing a burden or destroying a yoke. You're not giving to be a blessing. You're not giving to relieve someone's burden to ease them. But listen, if you don't got it and you take what you don't got and give it, then you put yourself in a hole. That's not what Shaul was talking about. He said, listen. But be an equality, but be but by an equality now at this time your abundance for their want that their abundance also may be your want. Right? So you want to give because you have it to give, right? Right? You want to equally show 
your desire to provide in this time of your prosperity or abundance, right? For their want, because they have a need now, right? In Judea, you have the ability to give more in your abundance, right? To their want, that their abundance also may be for your want, that there may be equity. So, in the end, you want to give out of your abundance so that they would have, right? And in their having, you now have, because you still have, because you have an abundance, and there's equity. Right? You have all things in common. As it is written, he that much, he that ha he that much had nothing over, and he that little had no lack, right? So he that had much, right, right, had nothing over, right? Which means that he had more than he need, right? right. And now he is given and he has what he needs, right? And that person that didn't have what he needs, right? Now has what he needs, which is as equal to you because it's having all things in common. You are able to make sure that he has what he needs because you got abundance. But all you have, all you really need is what you need. You could remove somebody's burden and destroy somebody's yoke by giving of your abundance and, and still having what you need. Equality. Equity. See, that's a place, man. You know, this world teaches you to take what you have and keep it for yourself, right? It teaches you waste by a seven, eight room mansion and can only sleep in one room, right? Ain't going to see any of the other ones, right? Just so you could say you have it. Instead of getting a two-bedroom house, right? And using the abundance to supply somebody else's need to be from out of the elements in a house. all things in common. That's what Shaul was reaching for, right? He says, he says, as it is written, he that much has nothing over, right? He that hath little hath no lack because you both are moving in a place where you have what you need. See, you know, the truth be told, if Yahuwah had blessed me with much, right, back when I was in a different space, I would have done stuff that I didn't need to do. I would have had stuff that I need, didn't even need to have. If I would have had abundance, see, now I understand. That's why wealth and riches comes with a price. That's why it's hard for a rich man to make it in. You know, it's passing through the eye of the needle. Camel passing through the eye of a needle, I think it says. 
Why? Because the rich man is consumed by his wealth, his extravagance, right? Having, 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 uh, um, um, have the possibility of losing it is, 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 is terrifying to him. But see, for the man and the woman of Yahuwah that has lived by Emunah, and Yahuwah has blessed them with what they need, and they have been able to have some of the things that they want, this too is a blessing from Yahuwah. Shaul says, But thanks, Alua, thanks to Alua, which puts the same earnest care into the heart of Titus for you. For indeed, he accepted the exhortation, uh, but being more forward on his accord, he went unto you. So he said this. Titus went in, and he went in with the expectation of receiving abundance from you. Excuse me. Because... You had it. <laughs> right. He said, for indeed, he accepted the exhortation. You know, he moved forward in this 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 exhortation to to bring in um, an offering that was well, that was good, right? He was being forward. It was he did it on his account. He went in unto you. And we have sent with him the brothers whose praise in the uh, Basura throughout all the churches. He says, and, we, and not only him, he's coming. The brother that, that has the praise report throughout all the assemblies. He's coming with Titus, right? And not only, but who was also chosen of the assemblies to travel with us with their offering, which is admonished by us to the glory of the same Adonai and your ready mind. So, you know, we, we come in with the offering and the representative of Macedonia who's accompanying us with the offering is coming too, right? He said, Avoid this, that no man should blame us in this abundance, which is administered by us. So, so listen, you know, he's coming, right? Right? With the testimony that they had in Macedonia from the assemblies, right? And to declare that this is what they're doing and what they're giving, not because Shaul told them to, but because they have a desire to want to minister to the, the assemblies in Judea to provide them what we can out of our necessity. He said, listen, you can't blame us. I got a witness. <laughs> I got somebody here that's carrying an offering from Macedonia. They ain't going to tell you. Right? Right? So you can't blame us in this abundance. <laughs> oh, they just can't because Shaul put pressure on them. Shaul put pressure on them to give. You know, I used to go into church, right? And you take up an offering. And 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 the, and the deacons we sit there counting the offering as it's coming up, right? We count the offering, and they be like, "Oh, listen, that ain't enough." <laughs> there ain't enough in the plate. You got to you got to dig deeper. <laughs> uh, you know, in the past, like you can't blame me for that. That was the deacon. Knowing that. <laughs> Listen, can't blame me for doing that. That was the deacons. <laughs> Listen, 
See, I was like, you ain't going to blame me for that. They got the money. They got the gift. And their representative that is known in this basura, in this gospel of truth, this basura of truth, he has a good testimony. He ain't somebody that's going to lie about anything. Yeah, he's the one that's going to let you know it wasn't me. We ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> you ain't going to blame us for the budget. He says, because we are providing for honest things, not only in the sight of Adonai, but also in the sight of men. Listen, we do everything in the sight of Adonai, but in men also, because we recognize you know, men, you know, they ain't Adonai Yahuwah. Yahushua. They ain't Adonai Yahushua. Understand this. We understand this. Right? We know this. We know this. We see this. We understand this. Shaul says in that 22nd verse, right? And we have sent with them our brother, whom we have oftentimes, who oftentimes proved diligent in many things, but now much more diligent upon the great confidence which is in you. So we send in another brother, right? We have confidence in him. So, you know, you got Titus, you got, you got uh, the representative from Macedonia coming with his gift to let you know. And we, we got another brother that's going to be sliding in there. <laughs> and look, we let you know this is not me, Shaul says. Listen, whether of Titus, my partner and fellow helper concerning you, or our brother, the messengers of this assemblies, the glory of Hamashiach. Right? It is the glory of Hamashiach. Right? Wherefore, shew ye to them. Right? Show them. Right? Wherefore, shew ye to them. And before the assemblies of Macedonia's representatives, the proof of your love. And our boasting on your behalf. So, giving is Shaul's message to the assemblies as well as us. Understanding that Yahuwah expects our generosity. But in so doing, you had to understand that what you give has to go to that which is designed to remove burdens and destroy yokes. Listen, you just don't give your money to anybody without a sense of responsibility, personal and accountability on their behalf. Shaul's like, look, look. So you know. <laughs> I ain't doing this because I want it. I got all these representatives that's flowing in here that's going to let you know that this is going to the reason and the purpose for which it was called for. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's all we have. <laughs> Shaul. His, his, his ministry, his message on generosity to the assembly. Listen. We have to recognize what we're in. This is not about us. It's about the brother. It's about giving out of our abundance and allowing Yahuwah to continue to meet our needs, right? 
We don't give our need so that somebody else don't have a need because that still leaves us with a need. But we give out of our abundance. And in so doing, we do that which is a benefit to all those that Yahuwah has given us the ability to remove burdens and destroy yokes. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I give you praise for your word. Your word is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. The entrance of your word gives light, gives understanding to the simple young man's ways is cleansed by taking heed to your word. Yahuwah, I pray that this word on generosity and giving would be met with love, would be met with a, a sense of commitment and duty to giving from our abundance to those that are in need. You, I pray that you would compel those who have abundance to freely give to those that they know have need or to ministries they know that work to bring forth this witness and to minister in order that burdens would be removed and yokes would be destroyed. Yahuwah, because that's what this is about. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's all we have. 2 Corinthians 8, chapter 1 through 23. You are called to greatness, man of Yah, woman of Yah. Woman of Yahuwah, you're beautifully and wonderfully made. Understand, right? Your abundance is Yahuwah's. Your abundance is Yahuwah's. Your abundance is Yahuwah's. And you should, by your desire, want to minister to the needs of someone else. And your abundance may not necessarily money. Like you may have three houses. What you gonna do with three houses? Make money on three houses. Yeah, well, you know what? You know, somebody else could benefit from a house, right? Maybe you could take that house and sell that house to them, right? At a discounted price, right? Or, or make their payments for it easy, but they have a house. Remove somebody's burden and destroy somebody's yoke out of your abundance. With that, I say, man of Yah, woman of Yah, shalom, 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 shabaoh, shabaoh, shabaoh. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.